Not too long ago, guys, I asked you for some suggestions on challenges to do in RIS, and you guys came up with some fantastic ones. And today we're going to be trying out one by Ahmad Abed, who said, try and survive as Pryine. But I have had a look at Pryine, and I think there's one nation, one nation above them all, that takes the spot as the most difficult and challenging and horrible nations to play as. We will play as Brian at some point, but today, of course, we are going to be playing as Paphlagonia. Can we survive this cursed nation in the middle of Anatolia in a land where they only make seven trade with one of the worst starting armies of any nation in the game with a roster that is so bad it makes my eyes water guys so let's see is it possible to survive as this truly truly cursed nation in rtr imperium serectum of course on very hard very hard and extreme mode stay tuned to find out so here we are as Paphlagonia, guys, and this suggestion comes in from Ahmad Abed. So thank you very much for him. He actually did suggest to survive as Prayini, but I think personally that Paphlagonia is even harder. Prayini actually starts with an army that has uh, some Epilectoi and some Hoplites in it, as well as three generals. Now, Paphlagonia starts with two whole generals, guys. And one of the worst art starting armies in the whole game. And I'm going to show you why this nation is so difficult. We are, of course, playing on very hard. Very hard. And what is the challenge for today? So what is the challenge in this whole video, guys? Of course, you've already seen the intro, so you're going to know. But we are going to try and survive at least 20 turns, have a positive income, and maybe try and get to at least 10 settlements. Now, that is going to be very difficult as one of the, well, probably the most difficult nation in the whole game. The problem here as Paphlagonia is the fact that it is one of the poorest little regions on the whole map. 1,130 gold. It's got medium farming. It's got low trade. And it only trades out this way too, which is pretty darn bad. It's a massive area of just mountains and hills. And that's about it. And on top of that, we start with an awful army. We're losing 2,660 a turn. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty darn bad. We're going to turn on extreme mode on very hard, very hard, guys. <laughs> Let's see if we can survive this. This is going to be very interesting. But what are we going to do on the first turn? Well, firstly, we are going to go talk to our neighbors, the old Galatianos. And we're going to go for the trade rights. But no, apparently they do not want it. Let's try again. It's generous. They don't like it, which is not good for us because the Galatianos have this army right here that is ready to attack us. So, uh, yeah, that is really bad. We've also got the Fog of War off because I wanted to show you we are surrounded pretty much by enemies. We've got Heraclea Pontica up to the north. We've got the Galatians down south and we've got Pontus in the east, all of which pretty scary enemies i'm not gonna lie let's toggle that fog of war back off we are not cheating during this run at all of course um so what we're gonna do we are just gonna go after pontus i've done a couple of practice runs and i've gone after heraclea pontica but honestly those ports right at the start of the game are not that powerful so i'm just gonna take whatever's close by and we're gonna go have a look at kimiata we're gonna get into kimiata and we're going to go for Kimiata as well. But you can see, look how bad the movement is here. This is all inaccessible. So we're going to have to come around this way. We are going to send everyone, including the generals, out of the out of the army. Going to go up to very high tax rates. And we're going to go this way as well. Let's pop into there. Let's go. Come on. What are you doing, man? Go there. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to go after Pontus now. 
pretty scary situations here. We can die at any moment, really, with this. Any single moment we can die. We also have so little options for money. Look at that. Awful market two. Oh, we got seven trade, guys. Seven. Seven trade. That's not the one. That is not the one. 700 taxes is okay. But look at that. Yeah, there's five extra trade for the boys. Let's go for the land clearance for now. 68 gold from that. Not too bad. And what we're going to do with the rest of our money is I'm going to get three units of Paphlagonian Cavalry. Because if worse comes to worst, we can try and skirmish armies to death with our Paphlagonian uh, Cavalry. One thing that is very good that we do have in our favor is we get the Asian Royal Bodyguards, which is potentially the best bodyguard in the game. 35 defense, 50 charge. Yeah, there's not much bodyguard better than that. So, yeah, very good. So let's end the turn, guys. We're going to wait a couple of turns, and let's go after Kimiata and Pontus. Okay, so the Galatians have accepted a trade agreement this time. So let's pop in the Alliance, and they did accept it. That is actually amazing, because this army, I found, loves to just stand here. Which is, uh, you know, if the Galatians attacked us, we'd 100% die. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go after Pontus, though. They only have a single Asian slinger. And the gates are open, my friends. The gates are open. I am willing to also resolve that for now, even though we are on very hard. That's only an Asian slinger. And I don't think that that's going to make a difference. So, in fact, let's not do that. Let's play it. And I'm going to use my generals to attack so we don't lose anyone else in the rest of the army. So, let's go, guys. Let's see if we can beat the single Asian slinger, which... Of course we can. <laughs> well, here they come, guys. Let's get into them. The Asian Slingers. I'm hoping they come off the town square. We could have tried to use someone else to bait them off the town square. We're also, of course, going to rally the boys. Remember, this is a Chadus Maximus challenge, this, guys. So uh, imagine our general just died on the charge there. That would have been hilarious. But there we go. Glorious victory, my friends. They killed one, we killed 13. Glorious, let's get off this battle map. The other unfortunate thing with this start is the fact that we start with so few troops that there's no chance I can ex uh, enslave this city. I've got to exterminate. We're going to delete this for some money, and we are going to make a little bit of money. You can see 693 for this region now, which is goddamn awful. That is not good in any way. 55% is not too bad. What I'm kind of thinking of doing then... Ah, goddamn Galatians completely in the way. Completely in the way. That's not good, and I don't want to trespass against them. This is the other thing that makes this uh, start so difficult, guys. Is the access to your capital is goddamn awful. It's really, really bad. You cannot get back to your capital with anything. The other good thing is it is a Paphlagonian community. I think once that unrest goes, which hopefully will be next turn, we should be okay. And we can't afford to keep that. We're still losing 2,000 gold a turn, which is crazy. In fact, stop that siege. Let's get this guy in there. Let's see if we can do the same thing. This would be insanely lucky if it was the case. No, it's not. Unfortunate, 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 but there's not else anything we can do there. Now, we've got a little bit of cash. We've got to spend that. We can't just let it go to waste. How much money does this place make? This place does have, does literally have no trade. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. So, let's go for a farm there, too. Uh, I could have gone for a temple to make them slightly happier. And that extra growth is nice. But uh, economically, we are in dire straits, my friends. So, so let's go with that. Let's also come up to Heraclea Pontica. Chadus Maximus campaign, this guys, remember. We'll trade with them. Can we go for an alliance? No, we cannot. Can we scam some money out of the AI? It's very likely. Maybe about 500 gold. Let's go for... Yes, we can. Fantastic. Let's also pop up this way. Maybe the GCS will go for some trade as well. Very nice indeed. Can we scam you AI? Can we scam you again? 500 gold. No, we cannot. So we're going to go and try and find Sinope and uh, see if we can scam them. 
instead. But uh, yeah, dire straight still, guys. Losing 2,000 a turn, even after taking this settlement, which is goddamn awful. So unfortunately, the unrest has not gone from Kimiata. So we are going to have to send a uh, one of our recruited units to go and uh, sit in there for now. Bit annoying, not going to lie. I was hoping that we could make them happy and actually use the unit uh, for once. We did get our thing in there, but we're still losing 2,000 a turn, my friends, which is just awful. We're 100% going to play this one because if we auto-resolve this, we are going to lose thousands of troops because they also have an Asian royal bodyguard. So let's get into the battle, guys. And again, we're just going to use our generals. Hopefully no one dies, but we shall see. So they haven't come off the town square. So the main thing here, I think, is going to try to surround these guys. We're going to rally the men. I'm going to allow this charge to go in first, and then we're going to go for the second charge to try and hit them in the flank while they're facing that way, which should be a lot better for us. We'll hopefully, if you charge, that would be good, guys. Yeah, that would be good. There we go. And we unfortunately have only killed two men. So now it's just a grind fest and a hope that our general doesn't die. I may even bring these guys in to maybe fire some javies at them. I could have done that earlier, but let's just put it faster. There we go, guys. There we go. Let's also get this guy out for now. Okay, all of his men are... There, 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 there. Let's get him out and let's go for another charge. How many are alive still? Only 16. Well, I think we can get out and then... There we go. We've killed him. I thought that was going to be our guys then. And now let's go for one more charge. Let's rally the men so he doesn't... There he is. So he doesn't charge in. And I think we can take them out. Glorious victory, my friends. Let's go. Kill the last six men. And in fact, you guys do not fire because you're just going to kill half our own men if we do that. So, uh, yeah, glorious victory. Nice and easy. One man left to go. And another city is ours. Not going to make us much richer, though, is it, guys? <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> not going to make us much richer at all. <laughs> I think it's going to have to be an, ex uh, an extermination once again. Which is very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, let's get back on that campaign map where pain just awaits us. As you can see, Pimelisa is not exactly the greatest place in the world. I think we can exterminate because it's going to have less than a thousand population. If we do, sorry, enslave, that's going to spread some of the population around. So maybe we can get Grangra upgrading at some point. That is going to annoy a few people, but uh, oh well. <laughs> It's also going to increase population growth. This place, unfortunately, is Cappadocian now. But we need to have a look with our spy. What has happened to that army in Amicia? Let's come around this way. We can see the GCS, I'm assuming. Yeah, the GCS over there. Look at this. The Amician army has just stood, sat there doing nothing. And we 100%, guys, cannot beat that army. There is no way we beat that army at all. Horse archers, look at that. Cappadocian cavalry, which is a great horse archer unit. Yeah, uh, I think we have to go north. So let's have a look at what we've got out in Sinope over here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's a very, very good army up there in Sinope. Uh, the problem is we just cannot afford to wait. Like, we can't afford to wait. Can we leave, though? That's the one question. With with them being happy still. 25%. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> right. Paphlagonian javelin, javelin men, get in there and let's pop you up to at least normal. Now, this is the problem here, guys. Like, what do we do now? We've got Gedelon over there that's got a decent garrison. We've got Giras over here with a decent garrison. The only place I think we can even contemplate going near is Sinope. But I don't know what's in these armies. That's six units. We also have six units. Oh, no, it's seven units. But we do have the secret weapon of the Asian royal bodyguards. But our Phrygian spearmen, guys, are dog shit. Same with the Paphlagonian cavalry. They're basically prodromoi. 
So, can we even beat those armies? I have no clue at all. I, I, I don't know. So, this could be the end of the campaign here, guys. Easily. This might be it, guys. So... <laughs> Let's go though. Let's go. We've got it. We've got to try. We're on very hard. So what do they have? They've got archers, prodromoi, two generals, epibarti, and an epilectoi unit. Oh, plus this general here. So I think we've got to try and take out this army as quick as possible. We'll try and use our generals to the best of our ability. And yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, this is going to be so difficult. This might be the most brutal battle we've ever fought on this game. And there's literally only 11 units in it, so... <laughs> or maybe a little bit more, sorry. I think it's like uh, 13. But anyway, hopefully it's not unlucky, number 13. Let's go to victory or defeat, my friends. So I think initially we're going to use the Paphlagonian Cavalry to be a bit of an actual cavalry unit and not a javelin cav unit. The reason being, I mean, they don't have any infantry here, so we've got to try and run through them. The reason being, we're just going to go and try and snipe that general straight away. I don't mind the prodromoi. They're going to do some damage to us, but I, I don't really care. Hopefully, these guys can kind of meat shield it for now. We're going to go and snipe that guy. That is their main general. And then hopefully we can run through the archers and everyone like that. That'd be great. So let's surround this general. We've not actually touched the general yet. That's the, that's the worst thing. But now we're surrounding him. He's, he's the only one left. So hopefully he dies quite quickly. And then let's see what do we have. We've got Heraclides here of Sinop. So he might go for the charge here. So let's try and block his route. There we go. Go, 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 go. Group one, group one, group one, group one, go, group one. Kill. Kill. Group one, kill. Heraclides, Heraclides, let's go, my friends. Kill him. This is it, though. This is it, guys. This is either victory or defeat right here. And remember, we've got to try and kill everyone. Oh, dear. Here comes the other general. Let's get these guys on fire at will now, though. There we go. He, he runs, he runs, he runs. In fact, no. Let's get these guys... There we go. We're just going to try and use our cavalry to bait everyone. Rage bait them all. Let's go. Can we kill any of these epibarti or anything? The problem being here, we're just getting destroyed by javelins and all that sort of thing. Problem as well. Let's have a look at these generals. How far in the fight are they? Turn around, general. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. We should be able to kill these Sinopian archers pretty nicely. Especially if these guys come and kill this prodromoid too. There we go. Prodromoy are running. What I want to do now with our generals, as long as these guys stick in the fight, and they are eager, is to kill this Greek general's bodyguard and fully surround him. What do we have here? We've got a different general coming back. Okay. There we go. Guys, guys, guys. Go kill them. Go kill them. There. We've got to surround him. How many has he got left? He's got 20 men left. We've got to surround because we've got Epilectoi. That's their king. Come on. Oh, this is the problem, though. I feel like... Ah, uh, by doing this, do we not, like, lose the settlement to rebels? That's the one question I've got here. That is the one question I've got. Right, let's uh, let's get away from this epilectoy. Let's also try and kill the epilectoy there. There we go. Let's run away. Do they still have a... Okay, they've got one general left. That's fantastic. That's what we want to keep. I think it's this general here, Heraclides. Let's have a look. Yes, Heraclides is alive. That is glorious. That's what we want to see, boys. That's what we want to see. Fortunately, here, we are turning our backs on these guys. Right, let's uh, let's just get away. Go that way if you can, actually. And keep firing. Why are you not firing, guys? You should be firing. Why are you not firing? Why do you not fire? What is going on here? Why are they just stood there? Like... Half the epilectoi are just, like, over there doing fuck all. What idiots, man. Right, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... We're all getting a bit tired. So what are these guys? They're Sinopian archers. Well, I'm going to send these guys after them because they're faster. And we're going to bring our general around this way. And we're going to charge these epibarti in the back. Our poor units are so rubbish. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. 
This is still in the balance. Look at that. It still thinks that we are, you know, weaker. So let's make sure that we, uh, we do mop all these units up. Rally the men, my friends, so you don't die. There we go. Epibartai broken. Broken. Let's go. These guys are broken too. How many have you got left? Like, let's uh, chase them down as well. And what do we have left to beat now? We've got an Epilectoid and a Prodromoy unit. Now, of course, Prodromoy units, not fun to deal with. But we do have our own missile cap. More than them as well. So once these guys are chased down, we should be good. Right, let's come back. Let's take you off fire at will for now. So you've got some ammo left. Kill them. Let's speed this up now. And then let's go back behind the Epilectoid. They are eager. They're very tired, though. So is our general, though, as well. Which is not ideal. So uh, let's go. Right, now we're out of range of anyone else. Let's get that fire at will on. Let's also press fire here. And let's see if we can uh, just charge them. There we go. Let's charge, boys. Let's charge. They might run away, but hopefully we're firing javelins at them. There we go. There we go. There we go. The enemy army is routing, my friends. We've got one army left to beat. And still, this is going to be a hard siege battle if we have to do a siege battle still. Uh, luckily, we didn't kill the third general. That's, that's one thing that I should have thought about at the start. Like, if we kill all these generals, we die and lose. <laughs> so, guys, get here. I'm willing to leave these guys in the fight for a little bit longer because they're eager. Where is my guys? Yeah, here they are. We'll go for a big charge on these boys. I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes, see whether they go down slightly in any of the fatigue. How long are we waiting for it, though? That's the question. Can you go down in fatigue, guys? Please. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. I'm surprised these guys are not. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Right. Charge. Charge. Let's go. This is it, boys. The final charge. The final charge rally. There we go! <laughs> nice! <laughs> this feels like surviving. It feels like surviving. And that's about all we need, boys. That's all we need. That feeling of survival. <laughs> that feeling of being able to, to not thrive, but survive. <laughs> that's all Chad's need, my friends. That's all Chad's need. Five less men to go. Let's go. Fantastic victory. So, I mean, it says heroic victory, but uh, not uh, not the best victory ever. But look at the royal bodyguards there. The MVPs. Very nice indeed, my friends. Very nice indeed. And luckily, all that survived was that general and a prodromoy. Fortunately, two turns for the goddamn ram to be completed. I'm wondering if we have a look in here. Is there anything we can destroy to get some positive cash? 933 denarii for the militia barracks. Over here, I think we're going to keep this because we need another recruitment hub. Also wanted to bring your attention to this, guys. Our um, our roster, <laughs> if you can call it that. We have Caucasian Hillman, absolute dog shit unit, like genuinely awful. We've got the Mastianian Infantry, which is the only okay unit. And they're not even good. 31 defense is awful. 10 melee attack is goddamn awful. These guys are our elite units. Luckily, we have um, Paphlagonian Cavalry. Uh, but the Asian Archers, again, they're pretty decent as an Archer unit. But, like, we're not winning this campaign by just having Archers, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to rely a little bit on AOR. Let's have a look at what communities we have here. We have a Cappadocian one. So what's the AOR here? The AOR is Asian Skirmishers, Slingers. And there is Cappadocian Cavalry. Well, that is what we're going to have to rely on then if we, you know, if we were to take this campaign forward. <laughs> but for now, the goal is just to survive, my friends. <laughs> just to survive. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. Days. Pontus is gonna Pontus, huh? I guess the AI gonna AI ceasefire and they'll give us 3,080 denarii. Denarii, whatever you want to say. Um, 
I mean, there's there's nothing else I can say to that other than yes, absolutely. Do you fancy trading too? Oh dear. I mean, I think that was like five gold from trade there. Do you want some map information too? I know that makes you more likely to attack us, but uh, you don't want to fight right now, apparently. And a candidate for adoption, absolutely. We need more generals completely that will allow us he's got three management two let's have a look he is bright magnetic and vigorous very good uh, but he's got three management how where's that oh understanding of mathematics where's the other management coming from interesting i don't see where that's coming from but that will allow us to actually use these troops which is amazing in fact we might swap out this unit for the asian slingers because of course, the uh, the Slingers is probably slightly less useful than everything else. And uh, we still have some cash. So uh, let's get into this battle, though, guys. And when we're done with that, let's see what we can do. And let's try and reassess what we're doing. So we're going to try and bait at least one of the units, whether it's the Prodromoy or the General. I don't mind. Just don't want to fight both of those units on the town square right now. So let's do that and let's try and fire our javelins. We've got more javelins than them. We've got 40 versus 20. So it shouldn't be too bad. Let's speed it up. Oh, go, 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 go. Didn't mean to do that at the wrong time. Exactly. Let's drag them into our trap. If we can, please. <laughs> go, go, go. Get out of the city. Get out of the city, my friends. <laughs> go. And we're going to hopefully drag them into this little trap here. Or at least one of the units. Uh, so, yeah, I think we could just beat that in a straight fight. But if they do want to come a bit closer, that would be nice. Um, let's see. These guys can stand a bit closer so they can actually fire. That would be good. There we go. Also, get you guys away. We don't need you guys dying for no reason. But uh, I want to kind of wait until the actual general is, in, is involved here. And uh, charge him in the back. Here he comes. Let's go then. Let's charge. Which way is he going? Oh, he's going that way. Guys, did you not charge? Like, ra charge. 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 <laughs> there we go. That's better. I was going to say, what are they doing? Just stood there. Just chilling. Just like, nah. Chill. Chill it, boys. Chill it. There we go. Let's kill them all. Fantastic. End that battle. Glorious victory. Maybe now, maybe we can start making some money. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. And as Sinope is actually a pretty decent uh, settlement, we are going to enslave here. Sinope is now dead and we are actually trading, I'm believing, with the GCS. 1,200 gold for this settlement. We're also going to get a bit of cash from that, which is very nice. Indeed, it is an Ionian polis, so... We go to level one here. Look at what we can get from the AOR. That's insanely good. What about level two? I mean, it's terrible if you were playing any Greek faction. Um, oh my god, level two, we can get Epilectoy. Level three, anything decent on level three? Probably the Archers. And more Epilectoy. Thurio four. <gasps> Oh my god, this is glorious. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm saying it's glorious looking at fucking terrible units. But it's so much better than what we have on offer right now. So we got to spend money on that. There's no question about that at all. Let's pop out of Sinope. Let's see how bad the situation is here. Could you accept a single unit? You could not. So what I might have to do then, rather than that, is... We might have to put in 60 men. It's only a 50 percenter. So I think what we're going to have to do is just go full cav armies. <laughs> you guys join there. 102 men. That should be enough, right? 65 percent. I think we can hold that for now. And what we're going to have to do is come all the way back to Gangra down these roads. Um, and yeah, you can go all the way to Sinope. You can probably help with the population, the order for now. Uh, oh, 60% here. That's not good. Probably because we enslaved again. Uh, oh, 50% here too. That's awful. And yeah, we're going to have to come all the way back. We've got some money now so we can actually build some things, which 
is crazy. <laughs> Who would have known? I think we definitely need to get in the roads there so we can move faster through this region. Apparently, we need to repair this, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let's get the trader there. Sinop, we're building that. And what are we going to build in the capital? Do we have money for anything? We do. For communal farming. Wow. Let's get that in. How much has our trade gone from now? 70 to 70, sorry. 7 to 29. Yes. That's actually insane, guys. Oh. What a what a what a region. What a place. What a nation. What a faction. Oh. Oh dear. The problem is now. Yeah, it's quite a big problem. Is uh I'm sending this army back for retraining, but we can't actually retrain the fuckers. Ah, uh, well, uh, 1,200 gold for that. Oh, dear. Um, We're going to have to destroy a building. Like, let's at least destroy this militia barracks, because we're probably not going to... Oh, yeah, we're not going to train infantry from Pimelisa, are we? We're going to train cavalry. So that's fine. We're also probably never going to train from Kimiata, although I did say I wanted to. But Sinope, I think, is going to be the next one that we actually do train from. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to have a pop around, have a look around with the spy while we don't actually need them to see what's going on. So we've got GCS down here. We've got a load of rebel settlements. We've also got more GCS, more rebel settlements. And then the other one, you can pop back this way. I think... The next play is to go this way and then maybe go after Heraclea Pontica. Like I say, the aim for this video, guys, is to get to like 10 regions at least. Because I feel like 10 regions we have survived. That's that's the that's the time when we, we can say we have survived. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's try to do that. But whether we can or not, different story, different story. So it seems a little bit strange. There is some money we get at the end of the turn every time we press end turn. I'll try and show it next time, but I'll show you the uh, end turn report here. It says minus 1550, but we were on like 200 gold, right? And it, I don't know. I, I feel like we, we gained money. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it next time, but very, very strange. Sinop, how unhappy. You're on 70% now, so there's a chance you'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I definitely think there's some weird thing going on where we're actually gaining a little bit of cash. And I don't know what from. Um, yeah, I've, I've no idea genuinely of, of why we're gaining any money. Oh, we can we can afford to retrain both as well. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh, ho, ho. oh, when you play a nation like this, guys, you've got to take your victories. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> what are we What are we facing when we try and siege down Calusa? Uh, pretty much all missile troops. I mean, the, the Asian royal bodyguards, they're the saviors of the day right now, aren't they? Oh, the Galatians don't like us because we have to go through their land to get back to Gangra. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? But just so this land is is impassable, so uh, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Let's also have a look at the, yeah, merchants and trade, low. Base farming, low. Medium and medium, that's insane. And then we have high and medium. What's the trade going on in here, man? 132! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Into the big numbers there, boys. The big numbers, let's go. Hundred and oh, eight. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty good. Forty-two. That's insane. This nation is rich, man. We've now got up to thirty trade. Thirty. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going slowly insane. Yes. Well, we definitely didn't gain any money there. I'm not gonna lie. The seventy percent has worked, but uh. Thanks, Rebels. Yeah. Love to see it, don't you, my friends? Rebels blockading us. Oh, dear. That's that's just that's just mean, honestly. That's just incredibly mean. Well, I think the only play we've got right now is to go after the Rebel settlements. I don't think we can do anything else. Like, 
There's, there's literally nothing else we can do. We're back to making no money whatsoever. I wonder whether people, they can leave Pimalisa here. No, 35%. Whoa. Rich regions, 800. 1,273. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is, this is just horrible. This is horrible. We need to make some money, please. Please. The problem with getting rebel settlements, though, now is the fact that you know, they're pretty well garrisoned. And secondly, like, we can't destroy the recruitment building. So we don't really have a choice. Like, we don't really have any way of making money from taking these settlements. Like, yeah, we're going to go into that settlement, though. The good thing is it has a port, so it will trade. And hopefully the rebels don't have enough fleets to blockade everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we'll find out, guys, won't we? I guess we'll find out. Guys, I think it's over. It's done. It's done. It's fucking done. No. No. We got nowhere we can retrain units. Oh, come on, Galatians. I'll give you anything, my friends. Where's my diplomat? He's too far away. Let's go talk to the Galatians, please. Please. Three turns to get that. That's too long. Too long. Oh, no. Oh, God. And we're in the negative again. Mm. Well, what do they have? I mean, Celtic units, though, are insanely good. It's going to take them two turns. To siege this down. Let's uh let me do this and I will see what they actually have. So they have a Celtic light cavalry. Actually, this guy is by himself if we sally out. Well, if we pop there, I guess they don't like us transgressing, right? If I pop there with this unit. Oh, I just don't know what to do though. Like these guys, should they come back? <laughs> this is touch and go, my friends. What is... Uh, can we leave Kimiata, though, now? We can. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. We'll come around this way anyway for now. Um, yeah, settlement besieged. Thanks, Galatians, for, uh, for betraying us, you know. I kind of needed to go through your land. Oh, the roads here are awful, too. They don't... Don't actually do anything. Like, <laughs> let's just go there and there. Oh, great. Well, oh, great. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Thanks for that. Um, But, yeah, I think... What? We can't attack them! Well, we can with this guy. There we go. There we go. Look how close that is. <laughs> what is his bodyguard? Let's have a look. Is that an infantry bodyguard? Yeah, dismounting general. Oh, that's a spicy meatball, my friends. A very spicy meatball. Well, uh, let's uh, let's attack these guys and let's see. Let's like this is literally all RNG. We've just got to hope that the AI is so dumb that they lose this battle and then the big army retreats. Otherwise, we're done for, my friends. <laughs> we are done for. But uh, let's try anyway. So, we're mainly going to try and take out the uh, Celtic Light Cavalry first. And then worry about the general. I think we're, we're okay against the general. But I just want to take out these guys first. Uh, because, of course, they're just going to be annoying no matter what. So, let's try and take them out. They, they look like they want to run away from our guys. Which is a little bit weird. I mean, if they're going to, you know, try and... Uh, Run away from the Javis. I don't mind. I don't mind either way, which whether the Javis are going into the general or into the Celtic Light Cavalry. Let's just try and get away from the general for now. Go, 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 guys. Go. And if they're going to do this, that is no problem. I'm happy with that. I want to kill them. Now we can surround this general. There we go. Right. You guys straight in there. We should win this. We should win. We should win. If we can fully surround them, we should absolutely ruin them. Guys, get, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Right, guys, come, 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 come. 
Right, how are we winning? Yes, we've broken them. Good. Right, now what we need to do is just use all our javelins on this general. And if he wants to chase us around, I really don't mind. I really do not mind. Is he withdrawing? Yes, he is. Right, guys, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go. This is what you got to do. You got to chase him. You got to chase him. I want to kill him. I want him to be left alone in the world and dead. Dead it. Let's go. Let's go for the charge. Let's rally the men. I don't think we'll rout them. But I think we'll get a good charge off. There we go. There we go. Let's come out of there now, boys. Come out of there but now, boys. Let the Javis do their damage. And let's go to the north and try and take away their escape route. These guys are coming back for the fight. Look at that. Right in the back as well. Right in the back. That's going to do some serious damage. All right, let's go. Let's go for one big charge. You guys try and get around the back and let's charge them in the back as well. That would be excellent. Go, 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 go. There we go. Right in the back of there. Right in the back of there. And let's kill these guys one last time. They're trying to withdraw through us. Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, come on. Yes! Kill them all. Kill them all. Bloody Galatians betraying us. Kill them all. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we like to see. But we do not like to see that big army. <laughs> well, that was interesting. We can actually get in the city. That's very risky, though. Because if they then siege us down, like, what do we do? I'm going to pop here and try and bait them to attacking this unit. That would be excellent. Oh, what do we do here? I feel like we stay outside the city to try and survive. Because if they attack us, we're done for. And I, I, need, I need a retreat route. Whereas in the city, we have no retreat route. And we are definitely, definitely done for if we, uh, if we lose that siege. Which we would, let's be honest, against nine Celtic units. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's end the turn, though, guys. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. And they run away. pussy -os. And that is probably the second hardest nation. <laughs> Prayin dying. Uh, we need our spy, though. We really need the spy. So I want to see where that army went. So we've only got... We've got a little town here, I think. It's a large town. Is that a minor city? To Ion? No. Well, I want to attack Tuion mainly because it's further away from wherever that army went. Problem being, they have Celtic heavy swordsmen in there. What did they have in here then? That looks slightly worse, but I can't guarantee it that it is slightly worse. This army is just so shockingly bad. Can we beat Celtic heavy swordsmen with this army? Potentially. It's going to be tough though. God, man. Oh. We can get a ram, but we, we have no one to actually... Oh, I should have joined up at least there. God damn it, man. God damn it. Oh, well. Let's have a look at what we have. Faction destroyed. Pryene. Oh, God. This is awful. This is, this is just really horrible. Well, while we are... We're in Seleucid land, so let's follow these roads to try and find a Seleucid city. While we're here, I believe the Seleucids... No, they're not at war with the Galatians. I thought they started at war with the Galatians, to be honest, but I guess not. Let's try and scam some money off them. They're wealthy. How about like a thousand gold for our glorious map information? 470. I mean, it's not great, but it's it's better than nothing, guys. <laughs> better than nothing. Maybe we'll be able to see. Is that a Galatian city? Yeah. Maybe see that army? It's there. It has the movement to get to us. And it has uh, Ambacti. Yes. Look at that unit. <laughs> There's no way we beat that unit, guys. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Why, Galatians? Why? Well, I know why. Because we're on very hard and extreme mode. But, uh... God damn it, man. <laughs> this is horrible. This is fucking horrible. Okay, I think we can work with this. Like, we have 
heavy swordsmen and we have swordsmen. But if we can kill their general, it's all going to be about morale, guys, isn't it? And we're just going to skirmish with them for ages. Try to get rid of their... Try to make them really tired. And I think that's the only way we win this, right? So, I mean, there's no guarantee, though, after this battle that they're not going to attack us again. But for now, at least we have something to grasp onto. And look at that balance of power. Defeat is a distinct possibility. Well, let's see about that game. We might still lose, but I think we'll do better than you expect. So, let's go. Well, here they come. They're starting with the standard swordsmen and the slingers. But here come the heavy swordsmen. Don't want to deal with them. Ah, really, really tough what to do here. Because I need their general to come out. We're just going to run away. We're just going to run away. <laughs> let's just get over there. And let's try and bait the general out at least. Here comes the general. So they have brought the general out. Good for us. Good for us. I'm going to try. Oh, the general's the only one going that way. That's good. Let's try keep baiting these guys here. If we can do that, that's excellent. These guys are all on... Uh, yeah, skirmish mode. Good. Let's keep it like that. Now, where is the general? I'm just going to put it on slow motion for a second. The general's on the right-hand side. That's very strange because normally the general is on the left. So let's uh, pop our bigger general's bodyguard. Oh, no. They're both about the same size. Let's play, though. They, I do believe they have javelins, but uh, let's, uh, let's charge either side. He already ra rallied, so good. There we go. That's a pretty brutal charge, but uh, we haven't killed the general in that. So let's pop out. We've got to keep our general's bodyguards relatively safe here because, you know, they are our strongest units by quite some way. These guys should be able to just run away. Here we go. Let's charge them in the back while they're chasing the other unit. And if they turn around, we'll chase again. We've got slingers attacking us now, which is never great. But uh, let's just go back here. We're on skirmish mode, so not too bad. These guys have taken an absolute battering. Where is the general? There he is. Kill him. Just kill him, guys. That's There we go. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. That's good. Get in there. Get in there. Let's have a look. Oh, no. The general's leading the charge. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Can we kill him, though? We've got to stay here to try and kill him. That's, that's what I've got to do. That's what we've got to do. General's routing. That's not ideal. Didn't mean to press on these guys. Guys, go through that way. Through that way. Guys, you're on skirmish mode. You should be running, man. Why did you, like, literally wait for them to come right up to your face? It's not ideal, guys. It's not ideal. Right, just go in there. Just go in there. Kill all of those slingers. Look at them. The slingers are doing an absolute job on us. Right, we'll pop this way. We'll pop this way. How many have we killed of the heavy swordsmen? Not many at all. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Five men left in this general's bodyguard. That's our saving grace. We're going to have to use these guys completely. Come on, guys. Let's go. Three men left. Three. We can't afford to lose this general at all. Like, no way. No way. Just get away and don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I don't think we can do this with Paphlagonian cavalry, to be honest. If we could get one guy routing, though, and just go and take the city and completely cheese it, I wouldn't mind doing that. So, General, keep coming, my friends. Keep coming. Well, ideally, if we could get the General into the city and just completely cheese it, cheese it, that would be amazing. But whether we can do that or not, I don't know. I really don't know. There we go. Where is their general now, though? Oh, he's there. All right, let's go. Let's fully surround these fuckers. Let's go. We're firing javies into them. So there we go. General, keep coming. Keep coming. There we go. That should be it. That should be the charge that does it. Really, they're still eager. They're still eager. Wow, they've lost a lot of men as well. And they're still goddamn eager. Get out. We need to charge them one more time. Need to charge them one more time. Shaken, shaken, not stirred. Let's go. One more charge, guys, before the rest of them arrive. Before the rest of them arrive. Let's go. Wavering. Come on. That was awful. That was not a charge. You guys get this way. 
Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Charge! 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 Eager! Eager! How are they still eager, man? <laughs> the charges are doing fuck all. That's the, that's why. Oh, there we go. We're routing now. We're routing. We're routing. Let's get out. Let's just go. Just go get out. <laughs> this is it, guys. <laughs> this is the fall of the Paphlagonian short-lived empire. Jesus Christ. Fucking Galatians, man. Why, why betray us? You fools. I hate you. I hate you. Get out of here. Just go, guys. Just go. Just fucking go. Well, I genuinely don't know how we can come back from this, guys. Like, I don't think there's a way. But let's see. And for good measure, we retreated to Gangra and we're getting sieged. <laughs> The, the saddest thing with this is, like, we have four cities. Four! And we couldn't even support, like, seven troops in the field. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at the massing now. Well, let's join up here. And let's run away. The problem is we have no other generals. So, if we lose this siege battle, we, we, we lose. We, we die. Like... We die, guys. Like, we 100% die. We have some money now, and we did build that. So we can actually build units, but we, we don't have the money to. Like, there's, how? There's no way you can survive as this nation. I mean, I, I a lot of it, like I say, is RNG. Like, if the Galatians don't attack us there, we're, all, we're in an all right position. But God damn it, man. That's... Brutal. I'm hoping we get a general. We've got four cities. We need either a general to come of age or an adoption. But if not, we we lose. We lose, guys. We, we lose here. That's probably the first campaign I've lost in this game for many, many years. So uh, let's play it out to its bitter conclusion. And I do have some ideas of how we can cheese the AI here. But uh, let's see. Well, Pimelisa is ready to expand, guys. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> um, yeah, well, we're not going to be alive to see it expand. So, I mean, the only other thing we can do is try to get a ceasefire. Very demanding for a ceasefire. Let's, I mean, except all we will attack's not going to help. What about a regular tribute of, like, a thousand for, like, 500 turns? How do you feel about that? That's uh, that's very demanding, apparently. Surely the quick. Our <laughs> Regular tribute of like 10,000 for 100,000 turns. That's very demanding. Over a million gold. What if I gave you like all of my regions as well? Very demanding. <laughs> Surely you'll like, like how? How is that very demanding? You you prefer to take my capital rather than you know a thousand gold. Well, uh, let's press the end turn, guys, and let's see the inevitable. If we do die, I will try this again, and hopefully that time we'll win. But uh, yeah, I very much doubt it. Um, but let's have a look at this army. They got three rams. That's not well, that's not unbeatable, guys, with a bit of cheese. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Do we have enough money to... Well, we, no, we don't have enough money to even recruit a single unit. <laughs> this is truly the most cursed nation in this game. And uh, there's nowhere... You know, uh, I wonder. I wonder why they're unplayable, guys. <laughs> And it has come to this, our inevitable death. 94 men versus 1,200. I think they've only got three rams, though. So we are going to try and cheese it. No guarantee it works, but uh, we might as well try. Huh? We might as well try and survive. <laughs> Let's go. Well, in case you don't know how this cheese works, all it is is going and attacking their soldiers on the rams. Now, what that should do is stop the rams. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop here for now. I'm going to get them in range of the towers, 
where they can fire at the Rams. Are they in range yet? Please tell me they're in range. Please. How are they not in range, man? Fire. Fire towers. Fire. Are they firing? They normally fire fire arrows, I'm sure. You guys go there and you guys go there. Surely they should be firing now. No. Apparently, they, the angle's bad. So, let's get out now. Let's get out. Once we've done this, we get out. They're all routing anyway. That's fine. But it stops the rams. And, uh, yeah. Apparently, this tower doesn't want to fire. So, there ain't much we can do then. If the tower's not going to fire, we, we, we can't do anything. Let's get out, though, and, and try and stop them some more. Maybe with this general. Speed it up slightly. We don't need to go so slow. But, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now you guys get this one. Go, go, go. Now you go across this way. Try and bait them all. Bait them, bait them, bait them. There we go. And still the tower does not fire. Does this tower fire? That's that's the question. He's routing now as well. That's not ideal because he's going to run through the enemy. But is this tower not firing? Nope. They, they're not firing. Well, that's awful. That's not good for us. Attack this ramp. Now we attack this one. Let's go. This cheese is not going to work if the towers don't fire, guys. And the towers are not firing right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Like, now we just need to run away, basically. Run, 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 run. Run! And they are chasing us. But looks like they're going back for that other ram. So, oh, no, 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 they're not. They're not. They're just going for this one. Well, if we can just, like, chill out and just do this forever, that's fine. Just need to touch them. That's all. Just touch them. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go. Do not let them touch this ramp. There we go. There we go. They're going for this ramp now. Can we do this for 40 minutes? On the, t on, the on the clock? No. Of course, for this method to work, guys, you have to have the clock on. You can't do it if the clock's not on. I don't think they're enjoying that. But looks like they are going to manage to, uh, you know, pick up the ramp. <sighs> but the towers are not firing. That's the annoying thing. Like, you can do this if the towers fire. Because you can get them to the towers to burn the ram. And once the rams are dead, they're dead. So, there we go. Oh, no. There they go. There goes with the javies. Oof. Let's get you here still as well. There we go. We can't do this for 40 minutes, can we? <laughs> Let's do it for as long as possible. So they managed to get the ram to the gates, guys. So unfortunately, there's nothing we can do at this point. And our campaign has come to an end. So is it possible to win this campaign? I doubt it. I very much doubt it, my friends. I really do doubt it. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> there goes one of the generals. Get on the town square, guys. We'll try and kill as many as we possibly can, but it's going to be in vain. <laughs> we will attempt this again, though, guys. Do let me know if you did enjoy this video. Um, and, yeah, we definitely will attempt this again. And I think a lot of it is RNG. Like, can we survive without the Galatians attacking us? Like, if the Galatians don't attack, I think we're okay. But, uh, yeah. Uh, go attack them and just fight. There's nothing else we can do. Fight to the last man. <laughs> there we go. And the campaign is over. And there we have it, my friends. Your faction has been wiped out. Others will write their histories and claim your accomplishments as their own. I mean, there wasn't many accomplishments, but uh, if anyone wants to claim as their own, <laughs> be my guest because there's not many and they're not great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, is it possible to win as the Paphlagonians? To survive as the Paphlagonians in RTR Imperium Serectum on very hard, very hard. With extreme mode on, of course. It seems not. It seems not. Comment down below whether you've managed to do this challenge, guys. If you want to post a picture on the Discord, on my Discord at RAS, please do. That would be amazing. Um, but yeah. It seems impossible, I'm not going to lie. It does seem pretty darn impossible. But we gave it a good go. 
And comment down below who you'd like to see next. I probably will play Pryeen as well and see whether we can do Pryeen. And we will have a go at this. Another attempt at this later down the line. So that should be good fun. I hope you did enjoy though, guys. A like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated if you did enjoy this video. But anyway, guys, sad times. Sad times. The impossible challenge turned out to be impossible. I will see you all again on the next video.